What are you asking on your figures, sir? Uh, 40 for the whole box. 40 for the whole box. What do you, is this your sale? Yeah. What are you asking on the printers? Oh my gosh. I don't, if there's no price on it, we haven't figured it out yet. Let me, um, no, How much for a printer do you think, Kara? Uh, or ask Amanda. Hey, Amanda. Yeah. Can you figure out a price for the printer? Hi, guys. Hi, Hi how's it going? Are you looking for the printer? Okay. Yeah, I was looking at the printer. Uh, Epson. Okay. Ultra high definition. R260. Photo. It's a photo printer, actually. <laughs> I have no idea. It doesn't look like it's ever been opened. 50 bucks? That works for me. Okay. Yeah. And then, do you know what you want on a video game? How about video? No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no idea. It's never been opened you know before, so 15? I'll pass on that. I'll just get okay. the printer, though. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. Can you do 50? They're selling it for 65.97 on eBay. No, I don't want to do that much. There's 55. Great. Thanks, Thanks a lot. What are you asking on your figures, sir? Uh, 40 for the whole box. 40 for the whole box. I'll do that, sir. Okay. It'll be a learning experience for me. Uh, those are four dollars each. Or two there, percent. there's some counter stuff. I don't, I don't even know. Some transformers. How much money? Forty. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Thank you, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. That's a hell of a deal. I think yeah. I, just don't know anything about I don't know either. So it's gonna be a learning experience for me. <laughs> What are you asking on your games? Three for both of them. I gotcha. Do you even know which one that is? Uh, no. Know. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't have that. Um, would you just do five and throw that in? Because I got two ones. Yeah, okay. That. I appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you. you. What are you asking on your uh, little figure? Uh, Dog. Dog. Sounds good. Do I pay you, ma'am? Yes. Awesome. So you have... Oh, we just put that in today. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any more? No. No, okay. That's a great deal, though. Yeah. You have a dollar in that and two. Yep. Okay, mm. awesome. And you get your bag there. I do, yes. Ikea. <laughs> Were you here last week, though, the friend? I was, awesome. yes. Yeah, he's here, wandering around somewhere. I What are you asking on the keyboards? You said 10 on this one? I'll, I'll get that keyboard for 10 bucks. Yeah, it is. It's a gaming one, so that's why it caught my eye. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. There might be key bindings, but I don't think. That's volume. Mine has that too. So, yeah. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Is anything in here free? Yeah, everything I've asked. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm used to seeing the Lake City. What are you asking? Any chargers? Dollar. Dollar piece? Yeah. Okay. You got prices on these? 
Yeah, I'll take twelve dollars for each one. So you said twelve a piece on these? Pardon me? You said twelve on these, right? A yep. piece? Twelve a piece. If I bought both, would you do twenty? No. No? You got two in there. Uh, how much over you? Just a dollar. You said twelve a piece. Awesome. Thank you, man. Uh, yep. Have a good one. Got a dollar in your calculator? <laughs> Maybe. There you go. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Alright guys, I just realized that I forgot to click my camera on for this deal, but I walked up to a table, they had a bunch of sealed um, perfumes and colognes. I got these four, they said 20 bucks a piece. I got four of them, and I said, would you do 60 if I bought four of them? And they were happy to do that. So I got one million by Paco Rabanne, two Dolce & Gabbana, or Gabbana light blues, and then Dolce & Gabbana light blue forever. So I think that's a pretty good deal. All right guys, today is Wednesday and we just made it back from the same flea market that we hit last week. And it's the same one that only happens on Wednesdays. We did really well this time. Last week, I didn't find much, but Jamie did really well. And uh, this week we kind of both did really well. So I love when that happens. It's always good when we're both winning. I got a ton of stuff. I just laid out all those figures. So I will show you that in just a second. All right, so as you guys saw in the video, I picked up that whole tote for $40. Um, this is something that I have like no knowledge on at all. Jamie is pretty knowledgeable on this. I know he loves toys. Um, you saw in the video, I was like, I was surprised he didn't pick that up. And he's like, yeah, I know. Um, I guess he's just trying to get rid of inventory and this is a lot of work. So I, I bought it, I hopped right on it, 40 bucks. It'll be a great learning experience for me. If you guys see anything, um, I guess, that sticks out to you any any toy collectors or buyers out there that know like if there's anything extremely valuable we got all of inspecting them all making sure they're ready um i'm just going to be google lensing pretty much all of these because i know nothing about them but yeah so i'm not going to be popping comps up on the screen just because that's going to be extremely time consuming um if any of these are missing like arms limbs um bullets or missiles whatever i probably have them in here there's a bunch uh, so yeah that'll be cool and then these are the items that weren't toys paid a dollar a piece on these two we got two to waltz that's a dw9107 and then uh i'll pop a comp on that one and then we have a ti30 i'll have to pop a battery in that make sure it's working but it's got the box and manual which is pretty rare for these calculators Pay two dollars on that and then these i i could have swore i was recording but i didn't click the record button on accident these people seem kind of sketch um he, he was about to tell me where he got them and then his wife like kind of shushed him i don't know what was going on there but he said 20 bucks a piece i got these four and i said how about um 60 for four and they they were happy with that i was comparing a little bit because i got kind of sketched out i was like what if i just bought fakes they all scan. Um, I don't know if you guys know like what to look out for to know if they're fake, but they all scan and they all look like the other ones that are in pictures that are selling. So I think we're good, but yeah, we'll see. And then these universal charge bars, I've never even heard of them. I honestly still don't know what they go to, but I just saw that some of them were selling upwards of like 75, 80 bucks. We got two of them. They are the same model. Uh, man. Their model C, there was a model number, yeah, right there. Um, so yeah, he was not budging on price, but his prices were good. And then from another table, we got these four items. We got this uh, Wishnik doll. The hair is pr like almost falling off. I don't know like what condition those are supposed to be in. It kind of looks like it's just shoved in there, but we'll see. Never heard of those. I paid a dollar for that. It's looking like they're going around 30. I uh, got this GameStop thing, kind of just threw it in with these, paid a couple dollars for this. Um, I know these S-Video cables, some of them can be really good, especially if they're like name brand. Um, got this Super Nintendo game, Raw. 
And then this I thought was a game as well, but right there it says it's a cleaner. So this thing pops open and it looks like you just put in different cleaning pads and then that'll clean your, um, I guess like game slots. So maybe this outer shell has, has a value and then people will just buy new refills for it so they can clean. But we'll see, paid $3 for those. Got this Gillette Track 2 Plus, nothing crazy, paid a dollar, probably get like 15 out of it. This game was free. Uh, probably get like eight bucks free shipping, nothing crazy. These HP calculators, these vintage ones, some of these models can be worth like a few hundred dollars, which is actually crazy. This one, not so much. It's a 12C, probably get like 25, 30 bucks for that. And then this Corsair keyboard. I know Corsair because I have some Corsair stuff myself. Corsair is a gaming brand, uh, and these, these keyboards can be very valuable. He was asking 10. Uh, I was kind of iffy on it. I walked away. Um, I looked up the model number. It is Corsair K90 Vengeance, and I saw that there's like four or five of these sold around the $90 to $100 mark plus shipping. Um, none listed, so this probably will not take long to sell at all. I'm going to throw it up for that $100 plus shipping mark, and we'll see how it goes. Um, if you guys don't know, go to KeyboardTester.com, uh, and you just press all the buttons, and it'll light up on your screen or make a noise to, uh, I guess, imply that the keys are working. So KeyboardTester.com. But that's going to do it for me today. I really appreciate you guys tagging along. I got a lot of work ahead of me. I know, once again, I didn't pop a lot of these comps up on the screen. Uh, maybe by the time I edit this video, I will have some comps to show you of these toys, but I don't think I should do bad at all on those. I'm really excited to go through those. So thank you guys so much. You have a great day. Bye. You're getting those birds. Oh, the people love you. They ask for you every video. Hey, Olive. Can you say something to your fans? He's preoccupied right now. They love the bird feeder.